Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Marty Kokish. Welcome to Marty's Garage. So uh, today I'm over at my friend Matt's again. We're gonna work on his truck a little bit, and uh, I forget the actual name of this thing. It's like the steering stabilizer shock or something like that. Dampener. Uh, dampener. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It's just this little guy right here. Um, it's got this uh, tapered bolt here on the end. So. Basically, this uh, that little shock dampener fits under here. You can see here's the old one. Uh, kind of fits in with the steering. And I actually had to replace this on my wife's Jeep. Um, something like it. It. Uh, I never witnessed this, but uh, at high speeds going down the freeway, sometimes when she was uh, going around a corner or something she'd get what's called the death rattle and the steering wheel would just shake like crazy and stuff never happened to me but uh, this apparently fixed it so uh, yeah we'll probably start out by heating up this end with uh, some map gas and uh, we'll hammer it out then so for starters this piece that's uh, still mounted in the truck it's in there um, I, I ran into the same problem with uh, the wife's Jeep where it is uh, basically unmovable. <laughs> Tried heating it, hitting it with a sledgehammer, and it's hard because there's not a lot of room to work in there, um, so you can't really get a good swing at it and stuff. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, we're gonna cut it off, like right about here, and, uh, and so we'll just have this little nub that's stuck in there, and then uh, uh, we'll heat it up and we'll bang on it a bunch, and hopefully it'll come out. Um, so, I use an angle grinder to cut mine. Matt's got this uh, little uh, cut-off tool deal that uh, hooks up to his air compressor. We're going to try that and uh, stay tuned. Okay, so you can see down here, Matt's got that new dampener in there. And uh, apparently it uh, makes a big difference in uh, uh, So it's actually a couple days later. Um, I think we worked on it for about five hours. And then, uh, I don't know, I called it quits, but Matt kept at it and finished it up like 20 minutes after I left. So I must have been holding them back the whole time or something. Um, but uh, it, uh, it, Improved the drivability a whole lot. Um, uh, it mostly uh, uh, stiffened up the steering when it's just in the middle. There's a lot less uh, play in it. And uh, yeah, it's a lot smoother when you're making full circles and stuff like that. So um, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, to kind of cut to the chase, I guess uh, what I do, because this is number two of these that I've done and both have been a Biatch, <laughs> and uh, um, I would, I would, uh, you know, soak the whole that whole tapered bolt bit with uh, uh, some uh, what is it? Uh, rust. What are what am I looking for? Um, blaster, PB blaster. Yeah, like PB blaster, some sort of bolt anti-ruster. Liquid wrench. Liquid wrench type stuff, and uh, let that soak in. Hit it with a hammer. And uh, you know maybe you can pound it out after that, but um, I don't know pickle forks and stuff. You just don't have a lot of room to work with in there. Um, so you know if you can't pound it out, start cutting right away and just save yourself some trouble. I uh, did soak it, by the way. And yeah, Matt did soak it, and no luck. So yeah, we ended up cutting it off and drilling it out a whole bunch. Um, we've got this little piece over here. Um, this is all that's left of uh, what was in there before. Once you got to about here, it popped out, but um, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Um, you can find the show streaming online at www.martoon.net. Um, it's on YouTube, Facebook. Um, you can download it on iTunes. And yeah, if you have any questions, shoot me an email on whatever on YouTube or you know, martysgarage at gmail.com, but uh, thanks for watching. Bye.